guys welcome back to techdoze and in this video we will look at string matching in an array problem which is from lead code number 1408 a prerequisite before watching this is to watch my video on kmp algorithm so you will find the link in the i button and also in the description below so i hope you have seen this video let's now look at the problem statement in this problem given an array of string words return all the strings in words that is a substring of another word you can return the answer in any order a substring is a contiguous sequence of characters within a string. Now let's look at the first example. Now in this particular case, we are given four strings. So what we have to do is, we need to find out if the first string is a substring of any other string. So I will be comparing this mass with as. Now since this as is of smaller size, therefore mass can never occur inside as, right? Now if we compare mass with hero, mass is not present in hero as a substring mass is not present in superhero as a substring now again i have to check for as is as present as a substring in mass yes it is present so i will be including as into our uh, string set the, the answer string set okay now i don't need to compare as with any of these words because if it is present in one word then i'm done now let's uh, look at this hero now this hero will be checked with mass as and superhero so hero is present in superhero so hero will be included in our answer set now superhero is not present in any of the uh, string therefore it will be excluded so our final answer will be as comma hero so two strings are present as substring in the other string okay now in this case if there are n number of words let's assume that there are n number of words then how many word comparisons are we doing there will be order of n square number of pairs because for mass there will be n minus 1 such pairs right for as there will be n minus 1 such pairs and if you add all these n minus 1 n minus 1 and so on it will become order of n square right now if you consider two words let's say a b a c and you consider another word a b now if this is of length m and this is of length n then you need to find out if this word 2 is present as a substring in the word 1 so this is as good as saying that or uh, find out if this pattern word 2 is present in the text word 1 which is solved by the string matching algorithm like the KMP algorithm optimally right so the KMP can solve the pattern matching problem in linear time order of m plus n so that is what we are going to use here now in this case uh, if the string length is let's say m the average string length is m then in order of m time the KMP can do string matching and since there are n number of words and n square number of pair comparison therefore the total time complexity with the KMP algorithm will be n square m while if you do not use KMP algorithm but use brute force algorithm then it will be order of mn and if both the strings are assumed to be of order of m length then it will range to order of m square so if you don't use KMP algorithm it will be n square m square where n is the number of words and m is the length of each word now let's look at the constraint and understand if it is going to work now in this case the word length is 100 that means n value is 100 so what will be n square it will be 10 to the power of 4 now each of the word length is 30 so m is equals to 30 so what is m square it will be equals to 9 times of 10 to the power of 2 so if you calculate the number of computations for n square m square using the brute force approach then that will be equals to 10 to the power 4 multiplied by 9 into 10 to the power of 2 so that will be 9 times of 10 to the power of 6 which is less than 10 to the power of 8 so definitely this is going to run within one second so if our given runtime is one second then the brute force approach is going to pass while if you had done kmp algorithm then this will be taking approximately n square m time and m value is 30 so this will be 30 times of 10 to the power of 4 so this will be 3 times of 10 to the power of 5 which is one order less than the uh, 9 times of 10 to the power of 6 right so we will be uh, solving this problem using the KMP algorithm but by the way you can also solve with the brute force approach and still get accepted for this problem and hence it is marked as easy if it was for KMP algorithm then it would have been marked as medium at least if you look at the other constraint then every word contains only lowercase English letters and all the strings of the words are unique okay so no words are repeating so let's just recap the KMP algorithm I hope you have already seen it but this will give you a fast recap so let's say that we have a pattern ABABCA so how do we uh, find the LPS array 
the lps array is actually the longest prefix which is also a suffix right so i have explained this already in detail so let's take this as i and this as j so i is the end point of the string and j will be sweeping from left to right so j is the end point of the prefix and i is the end point of the suffix if you just have a single character then the lps value will always be zero because you do not have any prefix or suffix when i say prefix it is proper prefix it is not the uh, entire string okay leaving the entire string everything else will be a proper prefix so in this case this will be a zero value by default every time and now i will be matching the jth with ith character if they do not match then what do i do is if this j would have been greater than zero then i will be moving this j pointer back but since this j is at zero i will be writing here zero and move for forward again if i match this a with a this is matching so the length will be equals to zero plus one here it will be one let's go to this b so then b and b are again matching so the length will be one plus one which is two length right so this means that the longest prefix which is also a suffix ending at index 3 is of length 2 you can you can see that ab is a prefix and ab is also a suffix and this is of length 2 you cannot extend the length more than this now let's go to this c now if you match this c with a it is not matching so where should i go i will look at lps at j minus 1 0 so i will be going to 0 and try to match this a with c again it is not matching so now i cannot move to the left hand side because i am already at index 0 so I'll be writing zero and move forward again match with it, this a with a it is matching so write the uh, j plus one so this will be uh, one and we will be moving forward and you see that your i is now out of bound so this is your lps for the given pattern okay so this is how you find the lps now let's say that uh, we need to find the pattern in the given text then the lps array is calculated for the pattern so I have already pre-calculated it. It is the same as we had seen previously, right? Now in this case, I will be taking the text size to be order of M and the pattern size to be order of N. I need to find out if the pattern exists in the text. That means if there is any substring in the text, which is equals to the pattern. Okay. Now, how do I do that? I will be, let's say, taking a J pointer here and an I pointer here, and I will be starting to match. If they are matching, I will move both i and j forward. This is the same as the KMP's uh, string matcher, right? Now, if you match this b with b, since they are matching, I will move them forward. a and a are matching, I'll move them forward. b and b are matching, I'll move them forward. Now, this a and this c are not matching. So, what should I do? I will look what is the longest prefix, which is also a suffix, till the previous index, and I will move to this index. This is the optimal movement. Now I will try to match this A with A. Now since this is matching, I will move forward. Now, now this B and B are matching, so I'll move forward. This C and C are matching, I'll move forward. This A and this A are matching, I will move forward. And if my I pointer goes out of bound, this means that the pattern has entirely matched in the text. And if you want to find where it has matched, then wherever the J is ending, you can do J minus I and reach to the start point okay so you will get to the start point immediately so you can get the start point but in this case you just need to return true that yes the pattern is present as a substring in the text right so this entire process is order of m plus n already explained in the kmp video and the space complexity will be uh, for the lps array uh, which will be taken for the pattern right which is of length n here right so i hope the recap of the kmp is clear now let's see uh, how to solve this particular problem using the KMP algorithm. So the first step is to do greedy arrangement. W what is greedy arrangement? Well, what we saw using the uh, simple brute force approach was I will be matching this tech dose with all of these four words, right? And try to find out if this tech dose occurs in any of them as a substring, right? But if you think about it carefully, why I'm matching this uh, tech dose with CH, right? Because if if the pattern is of larger length like let's say tech dose is of larger length then there is no point in matching this tech dose with ch so if i can just do certain arrangement in such a way that the smaller length string will come first followed by them the largest string will come at the end then it makes sense that you always compare in the forward direction so that if a tech is present somewhere then it will not be matched with do or ch 
it will not be matched it will always be matched with somebody of equal or larger length right hence we can do this arrangement by sorting this entire string in ascending order based on size so you don't do the mistake of uh, sorting in ascending order by default by default it will sort based on lexicographical ordering so in lexicographical ordering the z a will be larger than a b a b okay so this z a will be larger so you need to take care of that now let's uh, proceed with another case here which is present now uh, in this particular case let's say that this tech was not present but only t e was present okay in the second word only t e was present now if i happen to just uh, move forward and compare this ch with t e and then d o then ch will not be present right so in this particular case ch has to be compared with all the strings right from index 0 every time that we already saw uh, while seeing the example so each of the word will have to be matched with n minus 1 words n minus 1 other words n minus 1 other words right so each of the word will be paired up with n minus 1 other words that means all the other words and how many words will have to do for it n words for every word i have to pair it up with every other word right so if i sort it based on the size then what happens is only we need to uh, check for the forward items so you know what for the first word i will have to do n minus 1 uh, pairings but for the second word i don't need to move back but i will always look forward so n minus 2 pairings will be possible for the third word n minus 3 pairings will be possible and so on for the last word zero pairing will be possible for the second last word only one pairing will be required right so if you add it up both of them are going to be n square but on the runtime you will find that this is uh, pretty less as compared to the previous set of comparisons right so due to these two reasons i will be doing greedy arrangement based on ascending order on size okay so i hope the step one is clear now let's see the step two step two is every element will become pattern at some point of time right because I will be taking every element and try to find out if this is present in any of the substring. If this do is present in any of the uh, other uh, string as substring. If this tech is present in any other string as substring, right? So everybody will get a, a chance to become a pattern. And with whichever larger string I am checking, that will become the text. So I know that if I want to do KMP pattern matching, then for the pattern, I need to have the LPS, that means the longest prefix suffix array. So I will be pre-computing the LPS for all the given words. Okay, so this is step number two. In step number three, since I have the LPS array now, the third step is to match the pattern and uh, the text. So let's say this CH will be matched with do. So CH will become the pattern. So I is the pattern and J is the text. So I will start a loop with I from 0 to 2 i moving from 0 to 2 and the j moving from i plus 1 to n minus 1 okay so i will be moving from 0 to n minus 2 and uh, j will be moving from i plus 1 to n minus 1 because we already know that i will always do forward matching because all of these are arranged based on the size increasing order of size so the pattern size must always be uh, less than equals to the size of the text right so that is the reason so i'll be matching ch is it matching with do no uh, ch is it matching with tech yes the ch is present in tech as a substring okay so the pattern is matching and in this case i will be uh, pushing ch into our answer set okay we will take an answer set and i will be pushing ch, uh, ch string here now if i don't break here but i continue to match this ch with tech dose as well then ch is again present here and again you might insert a duplicate ch so in order to avoid this situation either you take a set while uh, storing the answer or you break out whenever you found a match you break out that since ch is included that was my goal you can just simply move to the next word break and uh, continue to, to the next word right so breaking and continuing to the uh, next word is optimal in case of runtime but including a set and pushing all the words in a set and then extracting all the words from the set and making it as a vector or an array is more time taking right so i will be 
uh, just breaking out. Whenever a match happens, I will just break out. Okay. So again, when we are done with this uh, CH, I will do for do. Now do is present in tech dose. So do will also be included in our answer set. Now check this tech is present in tech dose. So tech is also uh, added to the answer set. And the last item will never uh, be a pattern, right? So this is the last step, which is step number three to run the string matcher algorithm. Now the entire time complexity of this is first you were doing sorting of all the words based on size. So that was n log n, but this is smaller than the other factor where uh, we are taking all the pairings. So each possible pairs, how many pairs are there? n square number of pairs because the number of words are n. And for each pair, like for word one and word two, both of our length m, m and n, or let's say we are taking average length of m. You will be taking order of m time to apply the KMP algorithm, right? So the total time complexity will be n square m. And the space complexity will be n times of m because each of the word length is m. So that will be size of the LPS array. And how many such LPS arrays will be present? It will be the number of words, which is n. Therefore, the time complexity for the LPS array is nm. Okay. Now let's look at the code. If you are someone who is looking to prepare for top product based company within a limited time of just three months, then we have brought for you both the DSA and the system design live interview training program. The most important feature of this program is you get a filtered and condensed structured curriculum in depth discussion of all the topics and my guarantee of your understanding one on one guidance with me and live weekend classes to know more about the training you can whatsapp us on this given number in this code you can see that uh, I have written the pre compute LPS that is the same as uh, giving the word and getting the LPS array. So I have passed all the words and I will iterate through the word one by one and I will be pushing each of the word LPS into the LPS list. Okay. So this is the first API of the KMP algorithm. The second API in the KMP algorithm is the string matcher where I get the pattern, the uh, LPS of the pattern and the text and I will simply run the KMP algorithm as I explained in my previous video. Okay. Now let's look at uh, the main function. Now first I will be showing you the comparator. In this comparator given two words, I will be sorting based on the size. So given two words, if the word one size is less than equals to word two dot size, then no need to swap. Otherwise a swap will happen in the sorting algorithm, right? So in the main function or the driver function, we will be given the words. I'll be finding the number of words, which is n and then sorting the words based on the size. And this is the comparator which I have written. So step one is done. In step two, we will be pre computing the LPS for all the words and the function I already shown right in step three, I will be uh, picking the ith index as the pattern and the jth index as the text because you know that uh, anybody on the right hand side will be of the larger length. So I'll be picking the jth index to be the larger length text which will be text and the smaller word will be the pattern. So I will be calling the string matcher for word set i and the LPS set i I will be sending for the pattern and this is the text right. So I'll be uh, matching if the pattern is uh, present in the text if it is present then word set i which is the pattern will be pushed into our answer set and I will be breaking out and the reason I already explained because I don't want to push duplicates and once I break out then I will go to the next word and keep checking it. Once all the pairs have been checked, I will be returning the result and this will contain all the uh, strings which are present as substring in at least one other string. Okay. So this is the entire solution and I hope you were able to understand it. If you still have any doubt, then feel free to comment below and I'll try to help you as soon as possible. Like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this programming video. See you guys in the next video. Thank you.